uh, is, <coughs> is in control and he's watching over you and he knows what's best for you. Well. Uh, even though the world around us may not be thankful, I want to be thankful. Mm -hmm. yeah. If no one else stops to thank the Lord for his goodness, yeah. even if others are like the nine lepers who walked away, yeah. taking God's blessing for granted, mm -hmm. I want to be the one who returns to say, Lord, I thank you. Yeah. Uh, as we look at our text, thank you, uh, today, I believe we can see a few things that stands out in this story. Mm -hmm. So let us look at it together. Well. And it is my prayer uh, that each of us will determine to be like the one leper uh -huh. and not the nine. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. The first thing we can see in Luke 17 is in verse 11 through 13. Is the sad cry of the lepers. The Bible says that there were ten lepers that stood far off. And they cried out to Jesus to have mercy on them. Yes. Evidently, these men had heard about Jesus' healing power. And uh, they desired that he heal them. Now, their cry must have been really loud. Because the Bible says that they lifted up their voices. Uh -huh. In other words, they cried out in a loud voice. Uh -huh. Can you just imagine how sad their cry must have been? Uh, as they cried out to Jesus, have mercy on me. Uh, uh, but why was their cry sad? Well, I think there are several reasons. A, they had leprosy. That was bad enough right there. You see, leprosy is a horrible disease. Nowadays, it's called Hansen's disease, and there is a cure. But back in the Bible day, there was no cure. Uh, for leprosy and because it was such a gruesome and horrible disease uh, that not only was painful but also crippled and disfigured its victim forcing them to live outside of the city. Yeah. The Mosaic law pronounced a victim of leprosy unclean wow. and they were unfit to enter the tabernacle or the temple to worship. Mm -hmm. They could no longer live with their families or be associated with their friends. The law required that they rent, in other words, tear their clothes as a sign of extreme sorrow. Uh, their face had to be covered and they had to yell out, unclean, unclean, whenever anyone came into close contact with them. Reason B, reason B is that uh, their leprosy caused a great longing within them. We can only imagine how they must have longed to be healed. How they longed to be with their family and friends again. Mm -hmm. But as I said earlier, there was no cure wow. in those days. No doctors could help them. No medicine, no antibiotics. Uh, that they could take. No radiation, no chemotherapy. There was nothing to help them. There was nothing but a big hole left in their life. Uh, there was an emptiness that could not be fulfilled. To be a leper meant to have a life of longing, waiting so much more, wanting so much more than your disease allowed you to have. There was a constant longing and desire for something more, something greater. Another reason is uh, the loneliness. To be a leper meant no intimacy with anyone, no friendship with anyone. You were isolated and totally an outcast. Wow. Leprosy was regarded in the Bible as a, as a disease which the Jews believed was inflicted for the punishment of some particular sin. Worse than any other disease, a mark of God's anger. If you were a leper, you were essentially, you essentially lost everything. Your family, your friends, your home, your job, your money, everything that you had, you, lose, you lost it. Note, if you will, in verse 12 of of Luke 17 that the Bible says that the lepers stood afar. Well. Uh, that was because the law required that anyone who had leprosy 
had to stand at least a hundred paces away from anyone they came in contact to. They couldn't even come close to Jesus. Uh, leprosy, as we know it, is considered sin in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that every person that contact leprosy is guilty of a gross sin mm -hmm. and is experiencing the judgment of God. But what I will say is that the Bible said that leprosy is pictured as sin. It is what Satan uh, wants to do to every one of us, corrupt us. Eaton Bible Dictionary says that leprosy is the outward and invisible sign of the inward spiritual corruption. It gradually spreads its internal and disfigurement in dissolution, little by little, of the whole body that which is corrupted, degraded, and defiled. 